All right, hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a unit review about a unit that I really like, but um, I've heard that I've heard from a lot of people they really don't like it. Uh, it was my first tier seven prize. Uh, it's really special. It's a C17 winged mammoth. Now, um, and this thing was the tier seven prize for Sergeant Ludlow's boss track. I believe that that was like the ninth or something. Something like that, either the ninth ball strike or tenth, something like that. But um, so this thing has three attacks. These two are okay. This one is just garbage. Look at that. This is rank seven. This is the damage it does. So that is not nearly sufficient enough for a player like myself. But if you know how to use these two attacks correctly, they will actually serve you some, they will actually do you some good damage. They'll do some nice damage. So, I mean, this thing does have some, uh, it does have some uh, armor and health. Uh, unfortunately, they have the same resistances. Um, its ammo is a relatively fast reload time. Two turns for that. Uh, five turns, that takes a bit longer. And this, the Rise and Shine, takes the longest of all. The only reason why I actually can tolerate this attack is because it's name. I just love the name. <laughs> so it, I find it quite funny. Um, so uh, this attack, uh, it actually does some, uh, does some okay armor piercing. The only issue is that so many units have resistances to piercing, it's ridiculous. Um, it does get some crits against critters and it has a nice base crit. This attack is okay. It uh, it has less armor piercing, but it has a 60% chance of burning stuff. So I will show you this thing against some rebels here. All right, yay! Battle nations did not crash. So this unit is best in the middle row because in the back row, you can't hit the back, the rear row with this attack, and this attack can hit aircraft. Both of these attacks can. This is much more of an anti-air uh, vehicle than like an anti-vehicle aircraft. Um, wait, did I just say anti-air vehicle? No, it's an anti-air aircraft. It's more of that than an anti-air uh, ve anti-vehicle aircraft. Sorry, it's kind of late and uh, sort of certain, sort of like half asleep. Um, um, but, yeah, guys, so I'm gonna show you this thing against these rebels, um, yeah, just gonna throw in some extra units here to help, alright, so this thing, it'll do some pretty nice damage to aircraft because these are piercing attacks. So, I can get rid of these things pretty quickly. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, we're good. Alrighty. Just gotta keep this thing a bit I gotta keep this safe from uh, enemy attack. Right, I forgot what the resistance was to. It was 125% for something. For piercing, yeah, I thought it was that. Because Eric would always tend to take more damage from piercing attacks. So that did some nice damage against the elemental. Mainly because they don't have resistances to that. So I'm going to see if I can get a crit on this. If it gets a crit, it actually can do... There we go. It can do okay-ish damage. Uh, it's mediocre. Considering that tanks don't really have resistances to um, to fire attacks, so I can also just um, I'll just finish these Arctic tanks off with tank crushers. Now I'll use the mega tank. Want to get that thing to rank six? Just discovered I can hold enough steel to to promote that thing to rank six. So now I'm just using it like crazy. Brady. Pleased. Are you kidding me? Whenever I'm review, when I'm reviewing a unit, that's all that they try and kill. It's like they're psychic. 
Thanks a lot, Plasma Trooper. Evil Plasma Trooper. I know I should probably be focusing on the veteran, but I don't feel like it right now. I don't know. Whatever. Eat missiles. I think he sort of, he didn't eat them. He spat them out. Whatever. All right, I'll just wait till the the 21-ton um, collision attack. Actually, no, I'll just fire more missiles, you know. Yeah, veterans, their dodge rate is really annoying when you're fighting them, but when you're, when you're using them, I know I know, I was going to say I was going to use that, but whatever. The, I, I'll just rocket him to death. <clears throat> Guess that. No, no, I can crush him with this. Oh, are you kidding me? This guy just had a monster truck jump on him. I think that that would have killed him, you know. Having a monster truck jump on you is kind of extreme, but yeah, so that should have killed him. See, I was planning to use a C-17 on this, but this little jerk over here decided, Oh, are you reviewing this unit? Oh, I'll, I'll destroy it for you. Well, at least I guess we'll get to see the, we'll all get to see the healing cost now. Uh, veterans and plasma troopers. Right now to try and kill this thing. Oh, oh no, this could actually be quite a problem. Because all that I have to kill this with uh, are my crushers. Oh no. If this does not work out, I'm not going to be happy. But these things are, tend to be really good at just demolishing aircraft. There we go. All right, there we go, guys. All righty, so now we get to look at the healing cost. C-17 Winged Mammoth added a level 8 advanced repair rate. 7 hours, 12 minutes, 360 iron, uh, 5,000 gold, 120 oil. Well, I was going to try and do it with try and show you how it works against raiders but i guess well since that one plasma trooper um decided to be a jerk i can't do that guys i'm sorry um yeah well anywho uh this has been a review of the c17 winged mammoth i hope you guys enjoyed it uh thanks for watching bye